What's up everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. What I've got for you, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail and the title, is a product review. So I already have the Anycubic Viper, and so I decided I would buy the Cobra, which they just released. They're pretty similar printers. I want to see which one is maybe the better beginner printer, because they're a little different. Um, so I decided to get this one. I'm gonna build it and then I'm gonna review it and let you guys know what I think and hopefully you find that helpful. Um, that's all I've got for you. Let's get right into the video. All right, the first piece we got is some foam. Okay, we've got a bag of tools. And then the next thing that we have is this is kind of the main piece. We've got the screen. We've got this uh, filament holder. Okay, and then the only thing left is the base. Underneath, there's just a piece of foam you need to remove. And then there's also all of the cords. You can see underneath that all of the cords, and there's another block. All right, so now I'm gonna get all these cords out. And so they also gave this bag of goodies that you can see here. So I'm gonna open that up, see what's on the inside. Instructions, the cable, whoops, a bag of tools, SD card reader, and this is my power cord, a card, some grease, some test filament. Ooh, a micro SD card. That's nice that it came with this one because when I bought the Viper, it needed one for the screen and it didn't come with one, so. A micro SD card, an extra nozzle, and whatever this is, and the bolts and things to put it together, I guess. It's pretty simple to build. All you have to do is put this base, line up these holes that are on the bottom with the holes that are right here, and then screw these into the bottom of it. It's kind of tricky to get to the bottom to screw in those uh, screws, I guess is what they're just called. Um, it's kind of hard to get to the bottom, so I kind of pull it over to the edge and screw it in that way. All right, next we need to install the screen. It's pretty easy. We just need to take this off. And then we put this guy right here on the front. So the longer screw goes in the top. And then the two with the bigger tops go in this front side. But you're gonna need a tool. They give you these nice tools to use. Once the screen's done, next is the filament holder. It just goes on top. All right, I've got everything put together. Last step is just to plug in all the wires. Underneath this thing that's on the side. The screen also has one. We've got this one, We've got the one in the back right here. We've got the one on this silver piece and then the screen one. And that's all you've got for the wires, nice and easy. So this wire is kind of moving freely and they gave me this clamp that I can clamp here and hold it down better. When you put the clamp in, you wanna make sure that you don't include the little wire and that this cord can still run freely because it's gonna need to move as this head moves, so. This runs smooth through here. Once the printer is built, underneath here, you can see that this thing wobbles a little bit. And so there's these nuts under there that I have to tighten so that this doesn't wobble anymore. And it levels it for you. The 
next thing we need to do is load the filament. Today I'm working with this lime green. Uh, it does come with this white uh, practice pack that you can use, but I kind of like the idea of the spool holder up here, so I want to use a full spool just to see how that works. So you take the filament and you go in that white hole, press filament in first. <laughs> All right, so that gear starts turning over there on the left, and then... All right, so I figured out what I was doing wrong. The print head was too close to the uh, print bed. And if I would have read the instructions, I would have known that. But what I needed to do is go into the settings and raise the Z axis. So I raised how high this was. I finally got filament to come out. You have to pull back on this thing pretty hard and then it allows the filament to go in. Now it's time to put micro SD card in the slot and press go. I will see you on the other side. And here's the final product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The only issue you can see here is a bit of an extrusion issue. Um, I just had to pause my print a couple times, twist this knob, to the left and then it pretty much solved itself uh here's my final product i'm pretty happy with what i got